And so we begin this video once again in Old Smar, Florida, my hometown on Tampa Bay. This is where I went to high school and lived for many of years. Just a few years back, I was living here with my parents, also owned a home here in Old Smar. This is not the first time we've been to the Old Smar flea market before either. The mightiest flea market in the south. Actually, one of my very first videos I explored the Oldsmar Flea Market. Today, we're gonna do the same. We're gonna see what has changed. I heard they had some new owners. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome if it's your first time. I am Tampa J, and this is my fiance, Chris the Girl. And this will be your very first time ever walking through the Oldsmar Flea Market. That's correct, yep. Uh, I've only been here once before, and it was very briefly, and we only went into the plant store. There's a plant nursery here so I'm excited to see the rest of it. So the plant nursery is open seven days a week. The flea market is only open on the weekends and again been out here many of times you can go back and see uh, through video the transition of this place. They have a new owner. Also after we explore the flea market we might go around um, check out some of my old stopping grounds here in Oldsmar. I'll show you where I used to go to high school but for now I am so excited to walk through here with you. This is highly anticipated. It's one of the first things I said we should do. Truly. When you yeah. moved here and we haven't done it yet. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm hoping some of those old stores that I like and some of the old stuff is still in there and we can share all that with you. We're gonna have fun exploring the flea market, the mightiest flea market in the South, right here on my hometown in Tampa Bay. Oldsmar, there's much ahead. And the Oldsmar Flea Market sits right here on the east side of Oldsmar on Tampa Road. And it's been here for many years. Actually, the first time I came out here was back in 1998. My family was just simply visiting Tampa and we stopped by here to check it out. And a giant eagle and star-spangled banner on this van here as we're walking up the main sidewalk to the Oldsmar Flea Market. Right there it says the mightiest flea market in the south. There has always been a seafood vendor here and a cigar shop ever since I can remember it all the way back in the 90s. This has not changed. Also, another seven day a week vendor out here, the fishing and tackle spot, which is right over here next to the plant store that we'll go through today. That's where Chris was mentioning, the nursery over there. There's always fishing and tackle here. And I've been here many a times to get fishing poles, fishing line hooks and whatnot. Just wanted to point that out before we head inside. We've got Captain's Choice Seafood right here. All kinds of fish, sushi grade tuna, cobia, mahi-mahi, grouper, golf fish, and then right over here you got coolie cigars. And there's a little monkey in the window. You see the little monkey? I do, yeah. He's chasing the banana, look at that. Ooh, that smells good. Fresh cigars. Hey little monkey. And there has always been a sunglasses vendor here right when you walk in the door. I think I've actually bought a few sunglasses there. Here we go. Looks like it's just waking up here. Oh, absolutely no smoking inside the Old Smart Flea Market. No smoking, no exceptions. There's a smoke shop over here. Check out the cool tie-dye shirts. Ooh, some Grateful Dead. Yeah, these are really cool. I like the one with the skull. Look at those giant pair of Budweiser boxing gloves above your head, Chris. Incense? Do we need the incense? There's tons of it in here. Smells good, huh? So just like any flea market, all kinds of nooks and alcoves. There's so many toy shops in here, video game shops, um, a lot of vintage and nostalgic items. I love the Old Smart Flea Market. I've been to a ton of flea markets. I'm a little biased because I used to live here, but this one, like they say, it's pretty mighty. There's a lot of cool stuff. Even a Gundam store, a Japanese Gundam store, which we will visit today. And right here up front towards the center, there's always fresh produce. I know my parents would come up here so many times and buy tomatoes, watermelon, fruits and veggies, whatever. Always uh, fresh produce here. Mostly uh, Florida grown even. These sweet peaches though, those are from Georgia. So to the left here we've got vintage TNT, antiques and collectibles, and also Pokemon. This sign says turn left. Looks like they're just opening up. Look at all these collectibles. I see a giant Duff beer in there. Vintage overload. Welcome back to the 80s and 90s. Okay, I can always remember this uh, vendor being here. I don't remember this antique Yogi Bear. 
Look how old that is. That's incredible. It's amazing. Let's see how much it is. You see something else? Oh, it's Bella. That's pretty old too. It does look like Bella. Oh my gosh, she's only 28 bucks. It says 1950s Yogi Bear. Tons of old WWF figures. Also, just a lot of stuff. Look at this. A lot of old Happy Meal toys, video games. Oh, Lily, you found a little Snoopy. Yeah, another Bella. There's another Bella. Hello, Snoopy. Still on the cardstock. Look at this button pack, Backstreet Boys. We've got them all there, and we've got. Uh, is that? I don't remember. That's uh, like AJ. Sorry. Joey, right? Joey. Isn't Joey one? That might be in sync. Oh, I, I forget. Remember. I don't remember. <laughs> I'm gonna say this is a uh, cut from Mad Magazine. Look at this old piggy bank. Mad money. Twelve bucks. Okay, I've seen a lot of bobbleheads in my day. A lot of Mickey bobbleheads too, but I've never seen one like this. This is fantastic. Oh, he's a he's a pull string Mickey. Give him a try, see if he works. Oh. Oh, he just goes up and down. I don't think he says anything. I think he does. There's a speaker box at the, on in the back of his head, but yeah. I don't think he works anymore. His his mouth opens and closes oh boy. scarily. It's not like a My Pal Mickey. It's not like a Pal Mickey. <laughs> it's not, not quite, but uh. That's kind of disturbing. His eyes like roll disturbing. back in his head. Nurr, possessed funny. Mickey. That is really cool. <laughs> Neil Diamond. Hot August night. Bobby Darren. Farrah Fawcett's Farrah's Glamour Center. I think it's still in the box. You can create that famous Farrah hairstyle. I might need this. Okay, there's the other side. So it's just a head and a wig, basically? Yeah, you can style her hair. Right wow. Hair. Okay, who remembers these McDonald's Happy Meal toys? This guy, like, he's a, he's a piece of bread with a McDonald's helmet, but he, like, folds out. I haven't seen one of these in a while. It's pretty uh, pretty scary, isn't it? Nice little treasure trove of antique stuffies. Look at this Mickey Mouse Club Mickey. He's probably uh, 40 years old. Fred from Scooby-Doo. Never seen that before, that's uh, amazing. That looks original, that's probably from the 70s. Select Vision Video Discs. Look, it's the Blue Lagoon. Classic movie, Brooke Shields. Oh, that's my favorite Jackie Chan movie, Rumble in the Bronx. That is absolutely my favorite Jackie Chan movie. It's a really good one. What else they got in here? Rainbow Bright. Who remembers Rainbow Bright? Oh, another Blue Lagoon. And The Bears and I. Walt Disney. Clint Eastwood. I don't think I've ever seen that. I didn't even know that was a thing. I gotta watch that. And on the southeast corner of the flea market, you've got Christine's Tropical and Exotic Plants. This is the plant shop that you've been to. Yes, it Bought is. a few plants here. Yes, there are. Why, why are you making that face? Because I'm probably gonna wanna buy something. Yeah, it's your birthday weekend that too. Is true. Yeah. true, and Hoagie Fest. There's a lot to celebrate. Hoagie Fest, yep, at Wawa. <laughs> All kinds of beautiful indoor and outdoor plants. And neatly labeled. What's that? You, uh, you were here last year. You bought me plants from here for my birthday. Yeah, so I was here about a year ago. Yeah. That's right. I like how they're all like neatly labeled. They are. Yeah, it's, it's a really, really nice plant nursery for sure. We got one of those in our window. Pink princesses. Pink princess. Yeah. Uh oh, Bogo. Buy one, get one free for plants. Uh oh. <laughs> okay, so what have we decided to do? I don't want to buy all the plants. That's what I decided. Um, we're gonna come back, and I'm gonna on do the way out. I'm gonna do the bogo for their plants. You're gonna plants. do a bogo on the yeah, plants. Yeah, I've okay. never seen a bogo at a nursery before, and it's for some really good plants. So be stupid not to do it. All right, there you go. Watch ahead. We'll buy some on the way out. Yeah. And we're not taking any kind of traditional way. We're not zigzagging. I'm just simply going to areas that I remember and showing you the stores that I like. Also, anything new that sticks out to me that I like, I'm gonna show that as well. We're heading back to the main thoroughfare. I hear some live music down here. If you're in the market for a stun gun, a baton, fantasy swords, hunting knives, you name it, they've got it here. Scarface. Tony Montana. Say hello to my little friend. If there was an epicenter of this flea market, it would be like this area right here. 
There is a, looks like a, another sunglass vendor here. On the wall up there used to hang a giant hammerhead shark, which disappeared a few years back. Kind of sad, because I always remember coming in and seeing a giant hammerhead uh, stuffed shark up there. Basically, someone caught it, caught it and mounted it. Across the way here, this antique circus. I forget what they call that. They definitely have one in the John Ringling Circus Museum, just like it down in Sarasota. But this has always been up here. It's basically a miniature organ cart. It's pretty sick. I don't know if it still works, but it's always set up there right here in the Old Smart Flea Market. Okay, now that is terrifying. Look at the pelicans and the frog, Chris. I like I like this though. Yeah, it's really pretty. Very artistic. Also got an owl there. Got a swan. Oh, look at the donkey in the basket. That's cool. Yeah, I like that. Ribbit, ribbit, ribbit. All right, sports fans. I wonder if they have your favorite team here. It looks like a bunch of football, baseball, and I even see some basketball and some college. Go Knights. Chris is like, we gotta find a raised gnome. But you know what I would like to see more than a raised gnome? A raised zombie. They got a Detroit yeah. Lion zombie. Oh, I see what you're pointing at. Look at this. Go Steelers. I think my dad actually used to have one of those. It's cute. Oh, look at this. It's like a tiki. Yeah, totem pole. Totem pole. Okay, I like that. Go Steelers. And I've been here so many times before. I was telling Chris, I know you've seen this on camera before. I have bought many cartridges inside of this store. I started a side project years ago called the Cartridge Warriors and we would go around and, you know, try to get video games and go to like places like this. This is a uh, this is awesome. I'm glad this is still here and it looks like it's the same owner. I've been coming here for 20 something years to buy vintage video games. Got some Sega Saturn on display and old school Sega Genesis. There's a Saturn. All kinds of vintage cartridge style video games inside. There's a Sega Dreamcast. Did you ever play the Sega Dreamcast? Man, I used to play uh, NFL Blitz on the Dreamcast. Crates and crates full of video games. We've got NES. We've got Nintendo 64, Pod yeah, Racer. Second. That was a good one. Yeah. And you can test each and every game out here behind the counter before you take off with it. That's what I used to do. I used to play the games before I bought it. The Simpsons Bart's Nightmare on Super Nintendo. Also the original, one of the original Mario Karts. Chris was just telling me that was her childhood. Yeah, if my parents are watching, then they're getting PTSD right now because my brother and I played Donkey Kong 64 ad nauseum. <laughs> That's that such a good my game. childhood, yeah, so fun. I can't wait to go check out the the new Super Mario World yeah, out there. Super Mario World. That'll be awesome. And a ton of people have asked me, uh, you know, what's your favorite video game? There's so many of them. One that's coming to mind right now is Battletoads because it's right before me. That is such a classic game. Also, Super Contra. That's a good one too. I have Double Dragon. That one at home right there. Also, Mickey's Mouse Capade, a really fun game. Mickey and Minnie are basically running around a pirate ship being chased by. Uh, Pete, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. And also I have this one at home, Disneyland Adventures. I think that might be the first uh, Disney game on Nintendo. Don't quote me on that. Another Nintendo action set in the box, Super Nintendo in the box, Nintendo 64 in the box, and also out of the box. You can purchase these here. And the name of this vendor here, the video game vendor I always come to for many years is Hammock Video Games, Buy, Sell, and Trade. There's the QR code right there and the address if you take a screenshot it'll last longer if you come in here tell them tampa j sent you check him out it's always christmas here at the oldsmar flea market look a christmas store with a uh, awesome display here look at the flamingo flamingo that's that's something i never thought of a flamingo in my christmas tree oh my mind's about to explode and we found some Halloween. <laughs> That's how I imagine that witch laughing. Actually, Chris does a better impression of my witch, my Halloween season witch. That laugh, she does that so better. So Chris is gonna throw some of this in her video. She's filming uh, a spooky shopping video, a little update for Halloween merchandise. I was telling them that you did the voice of my witch the best, the laugh. 
<laughs> there you go, nailed it. And you mentioned that looks like Bora the Witch. It is, yeah, our pal Bora the Witch. Hello, Bora. Hey, there Bora. she is. Which witch? That witch. Does she float? And we've got one pickup of the day right there. She got the cat. You're throwing that in your video. Yes, I am. And that means at the end of my video, I'm gonna do a haul. You're gonna do the haul, like just like you always do. Which may be a one item thing, but still. Halloween haul. Yeah. All right, Oldsmarsh Flea Market. Liking it so far? Yeah, I am. It's fun, isn't it? Flamingo! This is the second flamingo of the flea market. We're gonna keep track. This one has a little Santa hat on it. I like him. All right, two flamingos so far. It's fuzzy. Good eye, Chris the girl. Vintage Thunderbug. Bobblehead. Kraft Cheese sponsored. Also, that Mickey's pretty cool as well. That is amazing. Good eye, babe. It's a shark eating a slice of pizza. That is like two of our favorite things. Yeah, that's amazing. 20 bucks? Oh, wow. He's holding the pizza with his little fins. You know, you know the good thing about flea markets, you can bargain. True. All sales are not final. I don't know. We'll think about it. That is amazing. And I've been coming here for almost 30 years. Welcome to Steve's stuff. Check out this uh, George Washington bill right there. Okay. Quite a treasure. This store. A lot of cool stuff inside. And it looks like some of the same stuff. Like stuff hasn't changed in a while. Look at the look at this. Yeah. Giant buffalo, giant bison, antique phone booth right when you walk in the door. Isn't that crazy? Yeah. Do not touch. So sad to report, no, I'm happy that someone bought it, but when I first came in here and made a video years ago, there was a an antique kind of homemade Mickey Mouse clock and it, it sat right there, it's not there anymore. That was one of the things I wanted to see when I came here today, to see if that clock was still there. This vampire lady wearing her mask and her hat says, I know Jack, Jack Daniels. We've got skeletons. Look at this, I think I remember this. It's like a tin person. It's adorable, it's a witch. It's a, it's oh, it's, it is a witch. It's a tin witch. That's a cool name, tin witch. Got some red skeleton on the wall, also one hanging there. I remember this here. This has always been here. This is a, uh, a Williams, Brown, and Earl 1930s uh, projector. Very old projector, very vintage. Even got the, uh, the tag there on it. And Steve was just uh, telling about this guitar. It's got an awesome story etched into it, Pearl Jam. This actually went to Woodstock 99. Look, no fear, very 90s. It's an old Harmony guitar. And look at that Woodstock reunion, rock on. It's pretty neat. An old photograph. I'm not so sure who Babe Ruth is with, but this was definitely taken in Florida. Could have been the Tampa Bay area because he spent a lot of time here. Oh, I think he was alligator hunting. There's a gator here. I think I think Babe Ruth, did he go alligator hunting? Yeah. You know who that is? It's Babe Ruth. Yeah. And that's probably either his grandfather or his father. Yeah, he spent a lot of time, yeah. Looks like he got a gator. Laying on the bumper. It's an old Ford, I think. Okay, so this plate below the photo, 1930. That's cool. And this was taken 1927, so about the same time, in St. Petersburg. Lake Ligari. Oh, that lake is still there. That's cool. I'll have to check that out. And one of Steve's prized possessions here, one of Norma Jean's hats that she actually wore. There's the photograph of her wearing the same hat that is before us right now in the Old Smart Flea Market. That's pretty sick. Circa 1950s. Joe DiMaggio and Marilyn Monroe, right there. I, I did a whole video on that time they spent together on St. Petersburg Beach. That's actually Reddington Beach, actually. Yeah. And they autographed that dollar? Yeah. That's amazing. During that stay? And wow, right. yeah, there it is. Marilyn Monroe and Joe DiMaggio. Yeah. Wow. And that, I got that picture not too awful long ago when they auctioned off the, the dress the she's wearing. that Debbie Reynolds wants it from Seven Year Inch. That's that's amazing. Yeah, that's cool. They signed that. They must have signed that during their visit here to Tampa Bay. And something I always show when I come here. You've heard of the jackalope, but have you heard of the gator lope? No. <laughs> yeah. The gator lope. And the possum. Look at the possum smoking a stogie. And make sure you check out Steve's stuff and tell him Tampa J sent you as well, right here at the Old Smart Flea Market. Making our way. Already seen a lot of cool stuff. Look, they have bikes here. Look at these vintage bikes. 
replicas, but very vintage looking. And one of my favorite places, we've been here before, Gundam from Japan, one of the largest Gundam stores in all of Florida, right here at the Oldsmar Flea Market. And if you don't know what Gundam is, well, you're about to find out. Also, not just Gundam, Japanese food and all kinds of things from Japan inside. And right inside the door, all kinds of things to build. Look at this. You were saying Greg's Game Room would yeah, enjoy these. Greg from Greg's Game Room. You can build these little game consoles. They even have Pac-Man over here. Okay, so if you've never been into a Gundam store or don't know what it is, they're models. Robots, basically. That's uh, basically the layman's terms. Check out this giant store and lounge. Also Japanese food, vending machines, an area to put your Gundam together. Look, someone's building something there right now. Also, t-shirt. Look at this. And I was uh, here a few years back. You may remember it. I came for a Gundam raffle. The owner brought a bunch of rare Gundam back from Japan. And I remember specifically there was like a 7-Eleven one. I was here with my friend Jay, Metal Jay, and his stepson, Corey. It was a Cartridge episodes, uh, Cartridge Wars episode, and we were here at a auction, and it was shoulder to shoulder in here. I said auction, I mean raffle. But yeah, always fun to come in here and check out all these models that were painted and put together by hand. Everything you see here was put together by person. There's so many things to do and see in here. This is like a giant Gundam museum. Look at this. Whoa, it says, please do not touch. Someone painted all of that. Shira Hoshi? That's amazing. Oh, look at that. Speaking of shark, what do you got there? I don't know, it's something you can build a- It's a model. Shark, I guess. It's like Jaws, Yeah. Bandai. I used to build models when I was a kid. Same thing, it's basically model building, but robots. Tanks, World War II era. Look at this. I see some Star Wars. There's a Shadow Stormtrooper you can put together. A Mandalorian, R5J2, droids. It's amazing that these were all painted by hand. And in the freezer in the back, Mochi ice cream, it's Japanese. Mochi? I think so. Mochi ice cream, $7.99. Store's legit. Say they know they're Gundam. All kinds of stuff to buy in here, even Japanese drinks and food. And in this room over here, beyond the vending machines, look at this vending machine. You can get little puppies, babe. Little puppies. Cold drinks and ice cream. All this stuff is from Japan. Frosted cookie sticks. Popping candy, also pretz, kind of like Pocky. Every burger. Uh, burger shaped chocolatey filled cookies. Okay, so Gundam Japan will be having another raffle next Saturday and they're auctioning off this. They, he, the owner said that this is the most expensive Gundam they've ever had in the store. This is a Sazabi. It came from Japan and they will, it's worth about, I think he said about four grand and they will be auctioning it off next Saturday. So come out and check them out if you wish to be a part of the raffle right here in person at the Oldsmar Flea Market. Here is his own version of it that he put together. This is what it looks like outside of the box, Sazabi. That is a lot of work right there. That's incredible. So yeah, you can come out here and perhaps get your own at Gundam Japan next Saturday. Right there. That's a lot of money, four grand. Oh boy, Sazabi. And you get an entry for every $25. That is the raffle process. Thanks, Chris. That's a very important fact that I forgot to mention. 25 bucks for each entry for the Sazabi. And the Oldsmar Alligator. Not here anymore, but it was sort of an attraction. They did keep an alligator in this pond here. There was like a floating dock and I would come over here and share the alligator. Actually, we named him Gator J. Yeah, I remember now, we named him Gator J. We used to come visit Gator J up here. Man, it's been so long that I forgot that we named him. I don't know what happened to him, but there used to be an alligator in here, long gone. Kind of sad. I was hoping to see Gator J today and introduce you. Yeah, well. It's probably better that he's out in the wild and not in here. Probably, yeah. yeah. Yeah, just here in this like retention pond, they used to keep the alligator. <laughs> beside the, beside the flea market. At the Oldsmar flea market. Chris looked over and she's like, ooh, a cold shop. Potions, crystals, hexes, charms, books, tarot, 
altar, altar and ritual supplies. This is new. I've never seen this here before. Sounds right up my alley. Are you ready? I'm ready. Let's check it out. Wow. It's a metaphysical store and it's decked out pretty nice. I didn't expect to see this. This is cool looking. Let's check it out. And it's air conditioning. We just got to slide the door shut. Look at this. Here's that face. Whoa. This is nice. All kinds of stuff. Nice display of cauldrons here. Different sizes, different colors. We do like a big cauldron. You do like your cauldrons, babe. That's a big one right there. Hefty. Encyclopedia. Like a lot of cool books in here. Encyclopedia of Magical Herbs. Also Celtic Myth and Magic. That might be fun. Dragons for Beginners. Ancient Creatures in the Modern World. That's fun. These mugs are cool. They're huge. Witch's Potion, Moon Magic, Witch's Potion. Dead thirst. I like these giant coconut fish. They're, they're coconuts, but they've been carved into fish. They're kind of creepy, aren't they? Sure. Almost could be a Halloween decoration. That is probably the biggest geo I've ever seen. Giant geo sitting right here in the middle of the flea market. Look at that thing. It's also got some like club lights shining down on it. See all the lights? Yeah. We just need some uh, dubstep. So all the way in the back, the very last building, we rock rocks. A lot of crystals, rocks, and gems. Look, you can actually pan for gold and crystals back here. Which reminds me of Old Town back in the day. Yeah. This is sick. Look at this. Just step right up. We rock rocks. Grab a pan. Have some fun. Crystals overload. All sorts of them. Shapes and sizes, colors. And look at this. This is $3,400. This thing's sitting by the door over here. $3,400. Bucks. So Chris found a large piece of kryptonite. Se selenite. Selenite. Yeah. And it's 12 bucks. And you said that's a deal. Yeah, that's awesome. It's huge. It's well, good for uh, cleansing and and your hoagies, tomorrow's hoagie yes. fest. And there is furniture all the way in the back and we just moved to a new place, so uh, we're looking for some furniture. So maybe we'll find something, hmm, maybe. We do need a new toilet paper holder and this, this is the coolest one I've ever seen. That is awesome. It's the Grim Leafer, I mean the Grim <laughs> Reaper. 29 bucks, okay. That's amazing. Whoa. How do you feel about yellow? I like it. $6.99 for this whole set. Brand new in the box, the gentleman told us. I'd say I've been looking at furniture a lot. I mean, it looks nice. That, that's a deal compared to the prices I've been looking at online for couches. All right, Chris the girl haunts on. Are you ready for birds and cages? Look at that face. I think so. Happy bird day. I do like the bird on that surfing. Oh yeah, Surfing Parrot. This bird store has been here for years and it's very famous. A lot of people come over here who have birds and parrots and whatnot and buy food and supply. Bird backpack and it also has bird crap on it. I wonder if that is free. Ah! This place is for the birds. Okay, this is adorable. I think they're eating that pinata. It's a, it's a pinata. It's a llama pinata. They're sharing. Sharing is caring. See, these are nice birds, babe. Yeah, they're cute. When do they start singing? Um. Tiki, 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 tiki. I like, oh, ouch. I think he heard you. He's like, no, not, not that the song. tiki room. Not that song. <laughs> What's your name? This is a, a bonded pair. And he's three months years old. It's a cockatiel. Oh, it's a bonded pair. I get. I got you. So you get two of them. A bonded pair of cockatiel. Three fifty. Or no, four fifty. This is called Everything Birds. I never noticed this before. Chris just pointed out they do vaccinations and they do boarding here. All kinds of stuff. DNA testing, disease testing, grooming, cage delivery. Available for only fifteen dollars per night. Bird boarding. There's another room inside there full of birds. 
check out these Java trees for the parrots. Speaking of parrot, there's one right there. That's a big one. You see the white one? Oh, what's it say? Have a good day. Welcome, people. That was written by a bird. That was written. cannot convince me otherwise. You think so? Oh, yeah. It's for the birds? Welcome, people. Welcome, <laughs> humans. <laughs> okay, just walking back towards the front. We're gonna pick up Chris's plant on the way out. Maybe show a couple more things. We've been here for already two and a half hours checking out the Oldsmar Flea Market. There's quite a bit more people out here now. It's just shy of, uh, I think, noon. Okay, as far as the Oldsmar Flea Market for today, that's it. We, uh, we spent a lot of time in there. Only showed like six or seven stores, as you can see. It is massive. I believe there's like eight buildings um, from one end to the other. So that's like 16 different aisles and rows. We will be back. We saw some stuff that we liked. I think you saw a lot of things that oh you gosh. liked. So many things. I will be back and I'll be doing my own video at some point for there sure. There you go. Much ahead on Chris the Girl. Uh, so now we were going to get some plants, but we decided not to. Yeah, because I already I bought some other stuff. <laughs> and also they'd be in the car all day. We got to go visit yeah. uh, your yeah, dad later. Yeah, we got some things to do. Yeah. Father's Day. So this video is not over though. I, As I was saying, I went to high school here. I lived here with my parents. Uh, this is the last place I lived, Oldsmar. Uh, with my dad. My dad, you know, he passed away here a couple years ago. So I'm gonna do a little rem uh, reminiscing, maybe on and off camera, maybe show you my high school. Let's head over into Oldsmar. There's still much ahead. And a sweet Mustang parked next to us. Look at this. It's a Cobra. I think that's a Cobra Mark, uh, Cobra Mach 3, maybe? I think that is, or a Mach 1, 428. Yeah, Cobra jet engine. Okay, so right here alongside uh, Tampa Road, this Wendy's brand new but sat before here. Another Wendy's, the older Wendy's, where I would come every lunch of my senior year on Friday. My class and I would come right down the street from my high school. As seniors, we were privileged to be able to walk down here from school and eat at Wendy's. So they recently tore the old Wendy's down. I had no idea that they were building a new one. And very sad moment because I was like oh no there went a bunch of memories but they they're rebuilding a Wendy's here so that's good and literally right down the street from my high school this is it over here Oldsmar Baptist Church and Christian School home of the Soren Eagles this is where I graduated went my junior and senior year the high school my only Florida high school I went to two other high schools in Henry County Indiana it hasn't changed since I graduated here and if you remember a video a couple years back called I moved whenever I made the transition uh, moving Oldsmar to South Tampa that's one of my favorite videos that's one of your that favorites ever done by the way oh okay there you go yeah. I uh, I came out here that was the last time I came out here mm -hmm. and I've shown you not on camera but I yeah, we've been by here this before, if you several can. times yeah but there you go that's the high school uh, gym right there slash cafeteria locker rooms that's where I played my high school basketball team uh, my games my dad also coached in there he was the JV coach I played on the varsity but he also coached myself and my brother as an assistant coach on the varsity basketball team we won two regional we went to the regionals twice won two district championships we had a pretty good team uh, coming from Indiana being a Hoosier basketball was in our blood that's what we do um, my brother is still uh, a basketball coach, coaches in the NCAA, um, so a lot of memories right here. And thinking about my dad, him being a coach here with me, bringing me to all my games, uh, being there. So one day I hope to go inside and show you the court I used to play. Maybe I can set that up somehow. I, I'm pretty sure I know a ton of people, all the teachers that still uh, teach here today, uh, taught me way back when. Also, if you're a fan of country music, this is the high school where the Warren Brothers went. Who knows the Warren Brothers? Wrote songs for Tim McGraw. Actually, one of their, one of their, they had a show. Actually, they had a show on V, uh, M, not MCV, what was it? CMT, the Warren Brothers show back in the early 2000s. They actually visited here in one of the episodes, but they wrote songs for Tim McGraw and Faith Hill. And Tim and Faith have actually been to this school before. Uh, just visiting um, just some fun facts throwing out there but yeah that's my high school Oldsmar Christian that's where I went
So this is the courtyard off of the church slash, uh, we call this, this is basically a church, but that was like our, we call it the fellowship hall. That's where if we had any kind of events or meetings for the school was right inside there. And this is a K through 12 school. It has not additioned or expanded since I've, since I've been here. Everything was outside. These are the cubicles. My whole day right here in high school, my junior and senior year were in these cubicles right here. These were our classrooms. Did you enjoy being in a school that was small? I, uh, you know, I, I, I came from Indiana, so our large schools weren't too much bigger than this. I did downsize. I went from classes from like 100 to 200 to 300 kids to a class of 25. Yeah. And I love that. I think I always liked having a smaller class We were size. closer. We yeah. did a lot more stuff together as a class. We all walked down to Wendy's together. <laughs> we went to Wendy's. We went to uh, Dollywood together. Yeah. We did all kinds yeah, of things. Cool. Yeah. We had a cookout, a senior cookout out at Tarpon Springs. Yeah. Right there. That was my English class right there, babe. And then my history class, Miss Clopton, and uh, oh man, I can't remember. I had two different English teachers, and I can't remember their names right now. Oh my gosh, don't don't shoot me if you're watching. <laughs> I remember you though. I remember you. Yep, OCC right here, Oldsmar, Florida, junior and senior year in my high school. And we had to cut. And I want to come down to Oldsmar's Veterans Memorial Park. And Chris reminded me. When we were pulling up, I said, hey, I've been out here with my dad. We came to a, like a, a veterans or a Labor Day ceremony. And I remember my dad uh, coming up on his bike. My parents just lived like one street over at the time. And I lived a couple blocks south of here. But yeah, she reminded me of that. And I, f I totally forgot I did a live stream out here. Mm -hmm. I was about, on your channel. it should be still there, right? Still yeah, there. Still there. <laughs> cool. And also, I came to a wedding out here. Back in 2008, my friends uh, Will and Melinda got married right here uh, beneath the gazebo back in 2008, all coming back to me. A lot of memories in Old Spar, especially with my parents. Because, they, yeah, they literally lived like right over there. So this is available for rental for weddings. This gazebo, this whole platform right here, this brick, you can set chairs out here, tents out here. Come on out and get hitched. Maybe we can get hitched here. Maybe. Maybe. Oh, she said maybe. Yeah. So my parents' dock, which is in my video, former dock, is like the second one right there. Now the house was bulldozed and there was a house rebuilt where they live. They they rented the house. It was a rental and they got a pretty good deal um, for living on Tampa Bay. We all pitched in. Across the bay there, Philippi Park, which is one of my favorite spots. Safety Harbor. This is my old stomping grounds out here among upper old Tampa Bay. It's almost like a lake up here. We're so far from the ocean. You really don't get a lot of waves unless, you know, a hurricane comes or a storm. But that's, that's as choppy as I've seen it. This is as choppy as it gets on a normal windy day. And the video I moved that we were talking about uh, back at the high school. This is the thumbnail. I'm sitting on this bench in the thumbnail of that video. I thought Chris and I could just recreate it together. Don't mind the wind. It is pretty windy. Yeah. Well, it's perfect because we did literally just move. We so. just moved. Yep. Yeah. Again. We moved again. We we titled that video we moved. We didn't really make a moving video this time. Nah. Just because we're doing it you, so much. Yeah, you all, you get the idea. We moved. We moved. I hope they can hear us. Hope so. I love you. Happy Father's Day to all you fathers out there. Happy Father's Day. And happy birthday to Chris the girl. When this video comes out, June 19th, Hoagie Fest Day. Hoagie Fest. It will be her birthday. Happy birthday. Thank you. <laughs> we moved again. That's pretty amazing. That that seriously is like my most favorite video that you've yeah. done. I've well, probably I watched watch that again. it. I probably watched it like three times. You look beautiful there on the bench. Look at that. You wouldn't believe me if I told you, but I could run like the wind blows. So you just ran. From that day on, I was going somewhere. I was running. Thank you for watching the video. I appreciate you all coming back. I'm trying to make my fiance laugh there. 
not laugh. We were sitting next to a millionaire. We were sitting next to a millionaire. And if you haven't seen Forrest Gump, you think we're losing our minds yeah. right now. Spoiling one of the greatest movies of all time. Ending the video, thank you so much for watching. I am Tampa J. This is Chris the Girl. If it was your first time here, subscribe below. Come on back. Make sure you give the video a thumbs up. Also, Chris the Girl had her camera, as she would say. So go check out her video. We're actually going to continue our day. So anything you see after this on a video will be on her channel. So, okay, that's it. I think uh, I think we're going to wrap it up right here yep. in my old former hometown, Oldsmore, Florida. Look at this view. Awesome, isn't it? Speaking of awesome, know you're awesome, know you're loved, and no matter who you are, what you're going through, there's always much ahead. Take advantage of the time you're given because you don't get a lot of it. Put one foot in front of the other and just know tomorrow will be a better day. Take a deep breath. That's it. It's over. It's over. Love you guys. Thanks for watching and sticking to the end. I really appreciate it. See you later. Bye-bye. Oh, a fish just jumped. Did you see that? There's a mole. Maybe it'll jump again. Yeah, you can catch a lot of mullet out here. Who knows what a mullet fish is? They jump. Also, I can see my old dock. Way off in the dentist. Did I say dentist? Yep. Oh, way it's because we're in Oldsmar. My dentist is here. Yeah. <sighs> There's a white roof over there. That's where I filmed a lot of uh, videos. Thinking of the Star Wars time capsule right now. So that's where I last lived with my parents. Way out there. Okay, that's it. Beautiful day at Oldsmar. Thank you for watching. Happy birthday, Chris the Girl. I love you. Happy Father's Day, everyone. Happy Father's Day. And happy Hokey Fest. Hokey Fest. Maybe we'll go to Wawa tomorrow on your birthday. Well, we have to now. <laughs> we have to now. This is why I love her. <laughs> All right. Bye-bye. Bye.